everybody, Jim here with your daily dose of Japanese gaming goodness. It is the import game of the day, and today's game is Sweet Home for the Famicom. This is a 1989 release that was developed and published by Capcom, and it's actually a movie license title that was released around the same time as the movie of the same name that was directed by famed Japanese horror writer-director Kiyoshi Kurosawa. It tells the story of a documentary crew who go to a creepy old mansion to film a story about the restoration of a long-neglected fresco painting collection when they become trapped inside with vengeful spirits and grotesque monsters. This game is essentially the precursor to the survival horror genre. In fact, Resident Evil was originally envisioned as a remake of Sweet Home, but a Famicom survival horror game obviously isn't going to have much in common with its PlayStation counterpart, but instead it plays more like a JRPG with some experimental survival horror elements. You're given five characters to play as that can be split into multiple parties, with a maximum of three, and each character has a special skill that makes them useful in different areas of the mansion, and they each have a limited inventory, so you'll need to use characters in tandem to progress through the mansion. There are puzzles to solve, keys and other necessary items to find, a multitude of weapons, and of course, a ton of different creatures to do combat with in a very traditional JRPG style random battles and all. Also, when a character dies in this game, they are dead for good, and depending on how many characters make it out of the mansion alive, you're treated to multiple endings. This is a totally unique game on the Famicom. Its mix of JRPG and survival horror elements makes for a very enjoyable gameplay experience, and the music, visuals, and monster designs actually make for a surprisingly creepy 8-bit game, which is something that's quite rare. If you'd like to try the 8-bit beginnings of the survival horror genre, Sweet Home is waiting for you.